Here at DBAT, we try to coach kids and, and we try to coach all our, our, our kids regarding uh, the beliefs, attitudes, traditions, and um, developing good baseball skills so they can further career in um, not only baseball and softball, but just overall in general as, as you know, good citizens of the community. Point A for us is assessment. So we want to see how well you move. We want to see what kind of range of motion you have. Uh, do you have issues with uh, pain, discomfort, uh, imbalances, and, and how can we address those before we even bringing you in to start throwing a ball? And so what we do with that is we make you a better mover, we get you moving better, we get you feeling better, and then now skill acquisition. So now all the skills that we're doing here at DBAT with our instructors and our staff are, be are coming more natural. It's more of, of just learning as opposed to having to find ways to uh, traverse through all these uh, issues that you might have already started off with. We try to build a strong foundation for the athletes. Um, so they're that special player that we want to kind of provide for our city. You know, we get, we're a city of 800,000 people, 800,000 plus, and um, we're trying to see where we can get to, where we can push not just one, two, three division school athletes. Um, we want to push them all out, you know, so they can be an overall great player. Um, we want to have that talent, that capability that we have here in El Paso so that schools start coming to us and we're not always going to them. We want to get to high school. We want to get to a point where we're not just limited to the city itself. We want to be able to compete against people from all over the state. We want to be able to have our kids at the, the level of, of any other city in, in the United States. The excuse that I'm not big enough, I'm not tall enough, it's, it's no longer an issue. So now it's more of, am I the athlete? Am, am I going to put the, the effort and the, uh, do I have the mindset to get to that next level? So El Paso has talent. El Paso has the ability to get people to the next level. We're just missing some small components of it. And so what we're doing here is we're trying to give you guys and give uh, a pass for the city back to those talented kids, those hardworking kids, those kids who are willing to put forth uh, the, the effort and the hard work to get to the next level. When he first started, he was quite nervous, some new experience for him, and, but the instructors are wonderful here. They, they learned how to work with him right away, and he's been coming ever since. He's been pushing himself to come and come. He, he loves it. His strength, his, uh, his arm speed, his quick hands. He's, they showed him how to, how to use his hips for explosion and all that. And he was slowly progressing, but I think he took a big jump starting this program. Uh, we started uh, with their travel team here at DBATS, and then we went to uh, a session at RKU, and they started out the program there. They loved it, and uh, they decided to go ahead and go forward and, and uh, try it out. The improvement they've had physically is their strength. You can tell the difference on their hitting. Line drives right up the middle, all the way through the gaps, outfield, um, their throwing. Uh, one of my daughters is an outfielder, center fielder. Uh, she can reach it from outfield all the way home. And uh, my uh, other daughter's an infielder. You know, going in through the gaps on, on the outfield and throwing it to third base and all that, she throws them direct and strong. And uh, you, their coaches have also told us that they've noticed a difference in their strength just on the way they're hitting, their speed, their agility, and all that. I would recommend this place to anybody. Actually, I do. I let everybody know that, you know, where it's at, where it's located, uh, to talk to Marco and get information because I've noticed a big change in my twins. So I started coming to DBATS when it first opened. I was the first girl to sign up with DBATS organization, and ever since then I've been coming here. My pitching coach, uh, Jade Rodriguez, uh, is a member here, and she's a coach here. So I've been coming to do lessons with her ever since, and I take up the opportunity to do batting lessons here as well, and I attend Urban High School. My family was so excited because it was just a great opportunity because my sister had played college ball, so I was like their next daughter to play college ball. And it's just very happening for my family because they're just excited for me to play. They've watched me play since I was three years old, so for me to go out and play college ball is a really big thing for us. The greatest thing I like to, to see as a coach is, is when parents text me, send me videos of like, hey, my, my son stole a base, or hey, my son got a base hit, um, he caught his first ground ball, or at the college level, hey, coach, I had, you know, three strikeouts today, you know, I walked two, you know, it was a good game, you know, I pitched, you know, I stuck to my pitch count, said what you told me, you know, I stuck to trying to drive off of 12 to 15 pitches per inning, keeping my pitch count low, so Little things like that, you know, when I'm on the road or, or somewhere, you know, and just sit down eating dinner, you know, 
little texts or videos and stuff like that, you know, that's what kind of keeps me driving towards success for these kids and, and, um, and pushes me to keep doing this for, you know, for a long time. We have these, these instructors who have, who have been to that next level, who have been to Division I, who have been to uh, play with the, you know, these, some of these, uh, or have worked with these MLB organizations, have played in the Dominican Republic. We have the, the instructors and the staff that uh, have been there, have done that. And so what they're trying to do is they're just trying to share that information with everybody who comes in. And not only that is it, it's that experience, but they have that passion for it. And so when you have that passion, you're, it's, it's very easy to buy into it when you're a, a, you know, a younger athlete trying to learn or when you're a parent. And so the value that these coaches and these instructors can bring to you guys, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's priceless. Um, it, it's something that uh, they're not doing for the money. They're not doing to you know, bring in um, all this wealth. They're doing it because they enjoy it. And you guys, are, if anybody who comes in, you guys will see that with our instructors and our staff.